All right, so this is the second example. I told you I saved it out before, so I'm going to go to the model file. And I'm going to create a plan and profile that has highs and lows. I'm going to go ahead and set up my viewport one more time to the horizontal. And then I am going to go ahead and take a look at um, doing highs and lows. All right, so come to the home screen. You're going to go to profile, profile creation tools. And it says select the profile. So I'm going to select this one here. You might have to click in the, the view below. And I'm going to say proposed road A. Everything else stays default. And I'm going to go OK. I'm going to change this to draw tangents with curves. And then I'm going to start here. Go F3. I'm going to end snap here. I'm going to turn my snaps off. Turn my ortho off. Make sure those are off. And then I'm just going to arbitrarily cut the site like this and then enter. Oops. All right. If that happens, just grip it at the last one and then enter End here. Now I do want a low point here. So what's going to happen is I need to add a point. So to add a point, you can click on the second button insert PVI and then it says specify point so I am just going to hit shift um, nearest and I'm just going to arbitrarily again pick a point and it says specify point I can do multiple ones I'm just going to hit enter now all right so I'm going to pull this down now you can't have see how this has a curve and this does not you need to have a curve here so when you don't have a curve then you can click on this and then you're going to do a free vertical parabolic curve. If that one doesn't work, then it goes to a circular. So I'm going to start with a par parabolic. So a parabola, free vertical curve parabola. I click on that. I click that line and then I click that line and then it asks me for a radius. I'm just going to hit enter and there's my curve. Now I'm going to go ahead and close that for right now. I'm going to go, come up here and go deview, escape, deview, enter, twist. I, I want to get this to the two, I'm sorry, 180. And the only reason is it just, it's easier for me to see this way and then hit enter. Okay. So I want a low point at, I want this first low point to be, um, I don't know, let's say it's station uh, let's put it at the PC 131095. Okay. So the other thing is on vertical curves, let's say the road speed is really low. Let's say it's 30 miles an hour. What I want to do is I can tighten up these uh, curves. They don't have to be that large. The larger the curve, the smoother the ride, but I normally see them around 75. So that means Typically, it's three times the speed. So if I go three times 30, that gives me a vertical curve of 90. Three times 30 is 90. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select the, 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 the um, vertical alignment. I'm going to right click and I'm going to edit profile geometry. It pops up this dialog box. I'm going to hit the green button or the profile grid view. And I am going to change these all to 90. Now there's other rules that this curve profile has to do, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go over that right now. So the first one I want at the low point of wherever this, this, uh, actually I take that back. I am going to make the low point along this no right there? Yeah. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. So I'm going to annotate, add label, and I need to know that exact station. Alignment, offset fixture, add. I'm going to determine two of them, just in case I change my mind. I'm going to hit F3. I'm going to go to that point here, and I want to see what 
this one is here, okay? Now, either I do 1163, there's 50. Yeah, I'm gonna do this first one, 1163. I don't need this one. Because I want a high point, um, and I like the high point where it's approximately at, so I'm going to hold this station here. Another way to do, instead of doing offsets, I can draw a polyline from this endpoint, turn my ortho on, and type in 63.01, okay? And then hit enter. And then I can just go straight up, okay? That's where the low point needs to be. So I'm gonna drag this back this direction to here. And then I can look at it and it says 1163, 11. Okay. Notice what happens when I grip edit it and I move it up. See how that low point keeps moving to the left and to the right? That's something else you can do by changing um, the slopes to get the, the, the spot to move. Okay. So I am going to take a look at my first one and I need to move it to the left. So I'm going to change that to 20 and you can see that it moves slowly to the left. So I'm going to change it to 10. There is mathematical equations that do this, um, but this isn't the, the class for that. So I'm not going to teach you all, all about that, but there are mathematical equations that you can solve it this way. I'm going to change that to 29. Too much. 29 and a half. Twenty-nine point nine. 29.85. As long as you're, you're okay with the slopes that you have, you're good to go. All right. Now, you also have um, the, the vertical curve is also based on your percentage slope coming in and percentage slope coming out. The green book, uh, the Florida green book also states if the, what it's called, the A, the grade change is greater than one, you have to have a vertical curve, okay? Specifically for different speeds. At different speeds, the change is, it varies. I may show you that information a little bit later or in class. All right, now, now that I got my low point set, I'm going to say right now my high point is at 1307, okay? So I actually want my high point to be in the middle of this curve. Now, here's the thing is I got that one set, but the next one, let's, let me show you. I'm going to do a station and I'm going to go to the midpoint of this and I'm going to go perpendicular. Well, actually, I'm just going to do midpoint again. My bad. Come on. Do midpoint. There we go. All right. So 1350, 17 is where I want my high point. So this number here says 13 PVI station 1325. So I'm going to change that. Ah, sorry. I am going to draw a line from the 13, so polyline, get down here in your second view, and I just clicked up there, 1350.17. Oh, back and forth, sorry guys. The nice thing is, is you can stay in the command. So I'm going to turn my snaps off, I'm going to come over here, 50.17. Seven, and then I'm going to draw it up. Okay, 
That's where my high point needs to be. So, so you see the little plus symbol? Now, since I set up the template, you can see the plus symbol. There are some templates that do not show the little plus symbol at the high points and low points. So I'm gonna drag this over to there-ish. Doesn't have to be perfect, but we're getting there. Now, notice where my low point happened to. So my low point, I have to bring it back to here. I'm not gonna make these absolutely perfect, I'm just showing you, okay? Pretty close. All right, now I need to bring this up because that's, that's, that's way too steep and that's too small. So I am going to move this one over. I'm actually going to take, here's the other thing. So I'll take this one out. Um, I am going to take out this low point. I'm gonna have a low point here and an ultimate low point at the end of my cul-de-sac. So now I'm gonna show you how to delete points out. So come up here and hit this button here, delete PVI, and you're gonna delete that point. And then hit enter, all right? Now, I have to shift it back, because now look at where the low, or where the high point is. So I'm going to shift this back. Now you don't always know all the answers to the, the, the project, you know? So it's one of those things where you're 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 working on on the fly. Okay, I'm going to need to bring this one over. And all I'm using is grip it. I'm not doing anything mathematical just yet. All right, and that's close enough. The high point, I just kind of want it in here. All right. Now the other thing you have to look at is cut fill balance. Okay. So I have to fill this area and I'm cutting this area. So that's not a bad balance. Um, I would probably like it a little bit uh, more balanced as in what I'm cutting and what I'm filling. So, you know, anything above the blue line is going to be a cut situation. Anything below the blue and gr blue line to the green line is going to be a fill situation. All right, so let me delete these. So now I've got a low point here, a high point here, and an ultimate low point, oops, get over here, down here at the end of the cul-de-sac, which is fine, okay? So that's my second scenario of my plan and profile. I forgot to show you this, so I need to show it to you now. I need to update these bands. So I'm gonna click on the band, I'm gonna right click, and I'm going to um, edit the, I'm going to do profile view properties. See how it says band here? You're going to come over here and you're going to do profile proposed road. Okay? And notice that it updates the elevations. So you can see this one's real, that, this one's the same. This one's a foot off. This one's close. So I'm actually hitting the exact same grade as we cross it. It just happened to be at the same point. So you can see the updated data. Okay, you can see that the 82 is the proposed and the 76 is the existing. Okay, so that's the pattern. Now we're going to go ahead and print. So on this, um, click the, the, the plot button and then go ahead and change that to monochrome. And you can do apply to layout. You can take a look at it before you print it if you wish. Oh, I don't like how that looks. I would always recommend checking your prints before you start. I'm going to close these. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Double click inside of here. Click on that. Get my ortho off. Bring that down here. You could grip this one, that leave that la label, and bring it up. That's fine too. Double click outside of it. Make sure your viewports are always locked. Sometimes that leads to bad things happening. Um, you could get your scale off or whatever, and you don't want that. Okay, so now let me print a file plot. That's another way to do it. Same dialog box, and then go OK. And then I am going to save. So you're going to upload um, all your PDFs and all your CAD files. All right. 
Mine's opening up now. So open it up on the other screen, so give it a second. There it is. And there is the profile. Okay, it doesn't look perfect, and I'm, I'll start working with you all on cleanup. It doesn't look perfect because of the monochromatic uh, plotting. Um, so the other thing is, is that I'll probably take time in the in the next for the before the the not next class, but next half after that, and show you how to do change your plot styles. Okay, but for right now, this is good enough. So that one. So you can give me four PDFs, and now we have to print this one. So you can hit plot here, you can right click down here, you can type in plot. There are so many ways to get this done. Make sure you're on monochromatic until I get you the pin settings and show you where to put them, and then go OK, and then save. It's printing in the background, and it's thinking, thinking, thinking. Give it a few more seconds, and there it is. All right. So I want you to, to upload for um, the assignment. I want you to upload these four PDFs, um, and I want you to upload the two CAD files. So I have the example one and example two. All right. That's it for now. If you've got any questions, let me know.